initially I thought it was a joke because uh, I heard from my receptionist that there was this company that they wanted to rent the entire hotel uh, for 12 months, every single room booked. And it's not very often you get a phone call like that. So I actually called the company myself. And yes, in fact, that is what it was. And it was a company uh, trying to source hotels for, for the asylum seekers or the refugees that are coming in, um, you know, on the boats or by various different means. Tintagel is, is the historic uh, birthplace of King Arthur. Uh, this is where, mythologically speaking, uh, he was supposed to have been born. Uh, Camelot Castle itself sits on a cliff. It has a 270 degree ocean view. It looks out over the, as I say, mythological birthplace of King Arthur. Actually, Camelot Castle was one of the primary tourist destinations in Victorian England. This is where people took their holidays. And it was Brighton uh, here and Manchester. Uh, it was a hospital during the war. Um, it was also girls' school during the war. My primary concern is the damage that this does, as I say, to the local community. Also, I had another concern that, that you know, if these were uh, people coming in from, from overseas that, let's say, weren't used to our culture, what would, you know, would they, you know, trash the place or would they yeah. damage the, the hotel? And I said, what would this government solution for that be? And they rather surprisingly said, well, don't worry, uh, just take photographs of, of the rooms and uh, if there's any damage at all, it'll all be, you know, repaired at the government, uh, government's expense. Well, of course, that's the taxpayer's expense. The other thing that was shocking to me, absolutely shocking, is I said, well, what would you need the same staffing levels? They said, oh, no, 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 don't worry. Uh, you can fire all your staff and um, all but three. And if you don't want to keep those on, we just need the hotel cleaned once a week. And you literally couldn't make it up. And... It would be funny if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, uh, a lot of elderly people around here are seriously worried about their bills. They are terrified as to what's going to happen this winter. And surely that is where money should be being spent is to give such people relief. And I find this story completely illustrative of the fact that this government does not think with outcome. It just is solving the problem of the moment. And it's almost like they, they, they pick up Twitter in the morning, look at what um, is getting the most attention and come up with a wacky policy uh, to solve the problem of the tweet of the day. Um, and, 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 and that is no way to govern. I, I personally, I'm of the view that the boat should be turned around and, um, you know, uh, the, the, the Navy should be defending our island.